How's it going, fellas? And we're live from the SCG with another Don Bradman career mode, episode 5 of Fabio's career. Fabio's coming off a mammoth 145. He's been partying for the last week and a half. He's been partying every night, celebrating his big score. So who knows how hungover he's going to be in today's game because he is going to need to back up that 145 with a stellar innings. The Australian selectors are starting to take notice and actually considering Fabio for the national team, which would be great for Fabio. He needs to play for Australia and get that baggy green. But let's get into the coin toss and Queensland win the toss and they have elected to bowl. So I guess we'll be watching Fabio with the bat. Hopefully he can score more than 145. Leave a like and a subscribe for Fabio because there's going to be plenty more career mode in the future. And he'll be going, venturing into some different sports as well. But other than that, let's get into it with the first ball. And it's bowling full, and he's played it nicely off the back foot. Is that going to make the boundary? I think it might. Nice shot from Farbs. Four runs. Beautiful shot. Oh, no, it actually got stopped, but they've run four anyway. Beautiful running. Johnston, now on four. I'm not even going to pronounce the guy's name steaming in, but Skagetti? He's steaming in. He's one for four. Let's see if he can get another wicket on Farbs. And it's played on the offside nicely for an easy single. So Scatetti, or whatever his name is, is bowling pretty well. Fabio just needs to establish his innings with some smart shot selections, just like that one there off the back foot for an easy two. Fabio really needs to, especially in the one days, to actually get a big score and put some pressure on these Australian players in the one day team so he can actually make the team. He wants to play for Australia. That's his goal. He's bowled it full and Fabio's played it nicely into the same spot. And as I always say, same spot, same result. Four runs. Well done, Fabs. Beautiful shot there. We've got Skagetti again steaming in. One for ten. Can he get the vital wicket of Fabio? He's bowled it full and it's played nicely in the offside for an easy single from Fabs. Farbs is moving along nicely, 16 off 10, and the guy's bowled short, and he's got nothing, Farbs. That's a wide ball from Skagetti, horrible bowling. So what has George got? Two for 16, they're three for 66. Farbs needs to be the man. And he's, what the hell was that, Farbs? Didn't even get anywhere near it, but that's what they need. They need runs. They're three for 40, guys. They really need Fabio to step up and get a big score because they really need it. Remington steaming in. Oh, nice. I've never seen Fabio block before. That is very interesting. But look at Enriquez. 43 runs. So Fabs just needs to stay in and hold up one end and let Enriquez just hit to all parts of the ground. Fabs, what a shot. Four runs. Beautiful shot from Fabs. No one's stopping Fabs at the moment. What has he got, Fabs? Remington steaming in. Fabs 27 off 27. New South Wales, 3 for 77, and he bowls short, and what, what the hell was that, Farbs? I know you like the onside, buddy, but you really need to start playing on the offside. Once again, Remington steaming in. What has he got? He's bowling full, and it's played nicely just for... No, doesn't even get a single nice bot, a bot ball, dot ball there from Remington. What's Remington got to Farbs? He's bowling short, and it's the same spot, and what do I always say? Same spot, same result. Farbs just put that... Puts it away nicely. Off the back foot, swings his balance nicely and just puts it away through the onside for four. Remington, if he gets the wicket of Farbs here, wow, f New South Wales are going to be four for 85. What can Remington do? He's bowling full and it's played nicely from Farbs. Through the mid on, will the mid on fieldsman get there? No, he won't. Four runs, beautiful shot there from Farbs. You can't bowl on his leg stump. No way in the world. Farbs will punish you every day of the week. Remington steaming in. He's bowling short. Oh. At least he tried to play it on the offside, I guess. But Farbs, you really need to learn how to play these bounces on the offside, mate. Because that was horrible. All right, Remington again. Steaming in. What has he got for Farbs? He's bowling short. He's played it. Oh, no, Farbs. He's cut it into the slips, Fieldsman. If you're ever wondering why Farbs doesn't play on the offside, there's a perfect example. Farbs gone for 36 or 40 balls. Leave a like for Farb. He really needs it. He, ah, oh, look at he's shattered. After that big score, he might be a little hungover. His head might be spinning. He might not know where he is, but he got 36 runs. 
Fabs. Oh, what a catch. One handed in the slips. Hit it hit so hard from Fabio, but one handed taken perfectly. Now we'll be taking a look at Fabio with the ball. Fabio steaming in. Queensland 2 for 50. Joe Burns, what has he got? Bold full, played nicely, but doesn't beat the mid on fieldsman for a dot ball. Nice bowling there from Fabs. Fabs really needs to, needs to learn how to stop the ball when they're throwing it at the wicket, I'll tell you that much. Second, oh no, last ball of the first over. What's Fabio got? Last ball. Oh, it's bowled full and played. Weird. Why, how, why would a player hit a shot that's full on leg stump and hit it to the offside? It just doesn't make sense, but it, needless to say, it was a beautiful shot for four. Fabs again steaming in. Chris Lynn, the big hitter. Will he hit Fabs for six? Oh, and again, the same shot. Leg stump, but still played in the offside for some apparent reason. But it doesn't matter how they score runs, I guess. As long as they're scoring runs, Lynn will be happy. Last ball of the innings. Lynn, Lynn on strike. Fabio steaming in. And again, that was a... Oh! Unorthodox cricket shots there. That was way outside leg stump, and he's still playing it on the offside. Fabs can't cop a break. He really needs to bowl it full and get some get some good balls in. He's bowled it short and it's played nicely there from Burns. Burns has made a hundred. Five for two hundred and fifteen Queensland. They're probably gonna stroll this in because I don't think New South Wales got that many. Beautiful shot there from Burns for four and Fabio steaming in from the Paddington end. What has he got? He's bowled it full and it's played for an easy dot ball. From Burns. Burns on 105. He's moving along beautifully. And Fabs again steaming in from the Paddington end. And he's bowling. What? The, what the fuck was that, Fabs? That was the worst ball I've ever seen. It was about 30 metres outside of leg stump. That was horrible, Fabs. Definite wide. Alright, Fabio needs to back this up with a good ball because that last ball was fucking pathetic, Fabs. Here we go. He's bowled it short again and played off the back foot. Beats a fieldsman there for an easy single. It was a better ball, trust me. It wasn't 30, 30 metres outside off stump like the last one, so we'll take that any day of the week. Queensland strolling to this target, and it's not going to be an easy easy win for New South Wales. If they do get the win, oh, that's a beautiful shot there from Burns. Straight down the ground. The fieldsman had no chance. That was a beautiful shot. Don't forget to leave a subscribe for more Fabio content in the future. And here we go. Fabio again. Bowls it short. Out. Oh, no. That's gone for six. Oh, it's been caught. Burns. He's had a lapse in concentration and he's found the fieldsman on the boundary. Oh, can you believe it? Fab's actually got a wicket. High fives all around from the New South Wales team. It's drinks on Fabs tonight. He's got the wicket. The big breakthrough of Joe Burns. 110 off 115 balls. What an innings from Burns. He just, as I said, he just had a lapse in concentration. And the fieldsman comes over for a beautiful catch on the boundary. Fabs again going with the short ball. 27 off 29 balls required from Queensland. Four wickets in hand and he's played it straight. The fieldsman isn't going to get there. That's four runs. Fabs, what are you doing, mate? You need to keep it tight in these last overs. 23 off 28. Come on, Fabs. What do you got, mate? We need a dot ball or a wicket. Dot ball or a wicket. Dot ball will take a good bowling, Fabs. Nice bowling, son. You've got to back those balls up, Fabs. We can't give away stupid runs here. 22 off 26. What has Fabs got? Fabs, no! He's bowled it outside leg stump and it's been punished. It's been absolutely punished. The fieldsman saves the saves the boundary, but Fabs, the damage is done, mate. 19 off 25, 7 off the over. Oh, Fabs, no, don't be... Oh, it's dot ball. The fieldsman saves Fabs' ass there. Oh, it was a no ball. Can you believe it? A free hit. Fabs is going to cost New South Wales the game. He's bowled short. Oh, it's been put away. The free hit. What's that off the over? Seven, eight, nine, thirteen off the over. Fabs. He's cost their team the game. Queensland win the game. Can you believe it? Fabs has cost his team the game. 
Favs will have to buy the drinks after the game after that bowling performance. He owes that much to his teammates because that was piss poor. In the death, he let too many runs leak. It was horrible bowling from Farbs. Anyway, guys, I've talked and raved long enough. Leave a like and a subscribe if you want more Fabio content and more Don Bram Bradman cricket content in the future. But other than that, I've talked and raved long enough. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch us later.